بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹ ٹو ڈے وی ول سالو نیو سلیبس میتھمیٹکس ڈی 2 چیپٹر نمبر 2 ایکسپینشن اینڈ فیکٹرائزیشن اف کوڈریٹک ایکسپریشن ان ایکسرسائز 2 بی بیسک لیول کوسچن نمبر 1 اینڈ 2 ٹو ڈے وی ول سالو question number 1 and 2 in question number 1 factorize each of the following expression completely here in first part given that a square plus 9a plus a factorization mean also the mid term breaking mid term mean mid term is break into two part where multiply then answer is last part and when added answer is better here we can see that just 1 multiply by 8 is equal to 8 8 ones are 8 so 9 is divided into two parts 1 plus 8 is equal to 9 and 1 multiply by 8 is equal to 8 so when multiplying both term answer is 8 and when added answer is 9 so we can divide 9 mid term into two pieces so we can write that a square plus a plus 8a plus a so when we can mid term break then we can common the first two digits in first two digit here a square and a common is a and in second two digit 8a plus a so here common is a so we have a square plus a is equal to a into a plus 1 taking the common is 8 then 8 is common plus 8 into a plus 1 here a plus 1 and a plus 1 again common in both term and same quantity so we can take the common a plus 1 then remaining answer a plus a so the final answer of a part a plus 1 into a plus a similarly we can solve the next part in next part given that b square plus 8b plus 15 we can multiply 1 multiply by 15 is equal to 15 we can break the mid term 8 into two part when multiplying the both values answer is 15 and when added answer is 8 so 1 multiply by 15 is equal to 15 here 8 is divided into two parts 3 plus 5 3 plus 5 is equal to 8 when 3 fives are 15 so 3 fives are 15 we can divide the mid term into two part when added is answer is mid term and when multiply answer is the final answer so we can write that b square plus 3b plus 5b plus 15 first of all taking the common into two first quantity b square plus 3b both quantities common is b so we can write that b into b plus 3 here sign is positive we can use the positive sign here 5 and 15 is also divisible by 5 we can take the common is 5 then 5 into b plus 3 then again we can see that b plus 3 and b plus 3 is a same quantity so factorization process is a correct so we take the b plus 3 is common then we have b plus 3 into b plus 5 remaining term b plus 3 is a common quantity and remaining term is b plus 5 we can write that b plus 5 in c part we can see that c square minus 9c plus 20 here we can multiplying first and last digit 
1 multiply by 20 is equal to 20. We can midterm break of the midterm of this quantity is 4 and 5. 4, 5 are 20 and minus 4 and minus 5 is equal to minus 9. So, when added both terms, answer is minus 9 and when multiplied, answer is 20. So, we have midterm into two parts. We can write that c square minus 4c minus 5c plus 20 is equal to common c in both first two terms, then c common, then c minus 4. And we have 5 and divisible of 5. So taking the common of 5 minus 5 into C plus minus minus 5 4 or 20. We can see that in both values C minus 4 is common. Then C minus 4 into C minus 5. Similarly in D part we can see that d square minus 16d plus 28. We have 1 multiplied by 28 is equal to 28. Here, midterm breaking of 16 into two parts. When added, answer is 16 and when multiplied, answer is 28. So, we have two parts, minus 2 and minus 14. When minus 2 and minus 14 is added, answer is minus 16. But minus 2 multiplied by minus 14, answer is 28. So we can write the midterm breaking and answer is d square minus 2d minus 14d plus 28. In first two digits, d is common. Taking d is common than d into d minus 2. Similarly, 14 and 28 is a divisible of 14. We can take the common of 14, then we write minus 14 into d minus 2. When here we can see that d minus 2 and d minus 2 is common in both quantities, we take the common, then we write that d minus 2 into d minus 14. Now, in part f, e part f square plus 6f minus 16. First of all, we multiplying the constant values 1 multiplied by minus 16, answer is minus 16. Now, we can make a break of midterm into two parts. Multiply answer is 16 and adding answer is 6. So, we have the two parts 8 minus 2. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6, but 8 multiplied by minus 2, answer is minus 16. So, we can break the 6 into two parts 8 and minus 2. 8 minus 2 is equal to 6, but 8 multiplied by minus 2 is equal to minus 16. Now we can write that f square plus 8f minus 2f minus 16. First of all, taking the common into first two parts, f is common. Taking f is common, then f into f plus 8. Similarly, minus sign, so we put the negative sign. Here 2 and 16 is also divisible by 2. Now taking 2 is common. Then 2 into f minus minus plus 2 8s are 16, here 8. We can see that f plus 8 and f plus 8, both values are same. So we can take the f plus 8 is common, then we write that f plus 8 into f minus 2. The final answer of e part, f plus 8 into f minus 2. Similarly, we can solve the question number 1, remaining questions of x part. In x part, given that x square plus 2x minus 120. First of all, we can midterm breaking of midterm 
2 into 2 power multiplying answer is 120 and when add answer is 2 so we can have see that 1 multiplied by minus 120 answer is minus 120 so we can make them into 2 power 12 and 10 but 12 Minus 10 is equal to answer is 2. Then 12 multiplied by minus 10 answer is minus 120. So we can part into midterm breaking. Then x here plus 12x minus 10x minus 120. So we can take the common into first two terms. X is a common. Then taking x is common. We have x common then remaining answer x plus here x is common x plus 12 and into what is 10 and 120 is are divisible by 10. So taking the common of 10, we can take the common minus 10 into x minus minus plus 10 12 or 120. So x plus 12. Here we can see that x plus 12 and x plus 12 both are same term. We can take the common x plus 12 into both term. Then answer is x plus 12 into x minus 10. Remaining part x minus 10. So the final answer of f part x minus 10. Now in g part we have. A square minus 4k minus 12. We can bit of breaking of minus 4 into 2 part when multiplying answer is 12 and when added answer is 4. Now we have seen in this example 1 multiplied by minus 12 is equal to minus 12. Take 4 into 2 part minus 6. And plus two minus six plus two answer is minus two. And when minus six is multiplied by two, answer is twelve. Now we can midterm break into four into two part. Then a square minus six k plus two k minus twelve. Now taking the common into first two quantities k. Then k is common. Meaning answer is k minus six. Plus here taking the common of two, we have two into k minus six. K minus six and k minus six is a common in both quantities. So we have take the common k minus six into k plus two. The final answer of g part is. K minus six into K minus K plus two. Now, in X part, we can see that M square minus twenty M minus twenty one. Now, one multiply by minus twenty one. Answer is minus twenty one. We can midterm breaking of twenty into two part. Multiplying answer is. Minus twenty one, and when added, answer is twenty. So we have see that one multiplied by minus twenty one is equal to twenty one. Take the midterm breaking of mid twenty into two part minus twenty plus one. Answer is minus twenty. When minus twenty multiplied by one, answer is minus twenty one. We have. M square minus 20m plus m minus 21. Taking the common first two term, m is common. Then we have m into m minus 21. Now here we can see that both quantities are different and not visible. So take the common of one. So plus one into m minus 21. Here we can see that m minus 21 and m minus 21 common in both terms. Then m minus 21 into m plus 1. Now we will move the question number two. 
In question number two, factorize each of the following expression completely. Now, in first part, given that 3n square plus nn plus 7, we can see that in question number one, first variable coefficient is 1. But in question number two, first coefficient power is a 3. Now, we can similarly process, first of all, multiply by first and last digit, 3 multiply by 7 is equal to 21. Now, midterm breaking of midterm 3 and 7. Now, we have, now the midterm of 10 break into two parts. Then, 3 multiply by 7 is equal to 21 and 3 plus 7 is equal to 10. Now we write the midterm into two parts 3n plus 7n. Then 3n square plus 3n plus 7n plus 7. Taking 3n common into first two terms. Now 3n into n plus 1. And taking 7 in second two term, then 7 into n plus 1. n plus 1 and n plus 1 is common into both terms, then n plus 1 into 3 n plus 7. Now, in B part, we can see that 4 p e square plus 8 p e plus 3. Now, multiplying 4 multiplied by 3 is 12. We can Factorize the midterm of 8p into 2 parts when adding answer is 8 and when multiplying answer is 12. Now here we can see that 4 multiplied by 3. 4 multiplied by 3 is equal to 12. We take the two parts of 8, 6 and 2. 6 plus 2 is equal to 8 and 6 twos are 12. Now we can write the midterm into two parts 2p and 6p. We have 4p square plus 2p plus 6p plus 3. Then taking 2p common in first two terms. Then we have 2p into here 4 divided by divisible by 2. Now then meaning answer 2p into 2p plus 1 and 3 in common into both terms because 6 is a divisible by 3. Now 3 into 2p plus 1. Then 2p plus 1 and 2p plus 1 is a common quantity. We take the common in both terms. We have 2p plus 1 into 2p plus 3 is the final answer of D part. Now, in a C part, we can see that 6 q square minus 17 q plus 12. First of all, multiply 6 by 12. 6 multiply by 12 is equal to 72. We can midterm break into two parts when added is my answer is minus 17 and when multiplying answer is minus 72. Now here we can see that 6, 12 are 72, minus 9 and minus 8 is a two part of minus 17. When added answer is minus 17 and when multiplying minus 9, minus 8, minus minus plus 9, 8 are 72. So we can midterm into resolve two parts 9q and 8q. So we can write that 6q square minus 9q minus 8q plus 12. In first two terms, 3 is a divisible and factor of 9 and 6. And 2 is common in both terms. So we have 3q into 3 twos are 6. 2 and remaining q. Similarly, minus 3 3s are 9. 
5 and 20 is also divisible by 5. 5 is common in both terms. So minus 5 is common then remaining answer is T plus 4. T plus 4 and T plus 4 is common in both terms. Then T plus 4 into 6 T minus 5. So the final answer of F part T plus 4 into 6 T minus 5. In next part, we can see that 4 u square minus 8 u minus 21. First of all, minus 21 multiply by 4. And then we can midterm breaking of 8 into 2 parts. Then multiplying answer is 84 and add answer is 8. Here we can see that 4 multiply by minus 21 is equal to minus 84. So 8 is divided into two parts minus 14 plus 6. Minus 14 plus 6 answer is minus 8 and minus 14 multiplied by 6 is answer is minus 84. Now we can midterm breaking of 8 into two parts 4 u square minus 14 u plus 6 u minus 21. Here 2 u 4 and 14 is divisible by 2. So taking the common 2 u in first two terms. Then 2 u into 2 u minus 7 is the remaining answer. Plus 6 and 21 both are divisible by 3. So taking the common is 3. Remaining answer is 2u minus 7. Then 2u minus 7 and 2u minus 7 in both quantities are common. So 2u minus 7 into 2u plus 3 is the remaining answer. So the final answer of G part is 2u minus 7 into 2u plus 3. In last part of question number 2, 18 w square minus w minus 39. First of all, 18 multiplied by minus 39 is equal to minus 702. We can midterm breaking of minus 1 into 2 factors. When multiplying, answer is minus 702 and add, answer is minus 1. So, Take the one digit difference and find the digit is minus 27 plus 26. Answer is minus 1 and minus 27 multiplied by 26. Answer is minus 702. Now minus 1 divided into two parts minus 27 plus 26. Now we can write that 18 w square minus 27 w plus 26 w minus 39. In first two digits, 9 is divisible by both 18 and 27 and w is also common. So 9 w is common. Then remaining answer is 2 w minus 3. Here we can see that 26 and 39 is divisible by 13. So 13 is common. Remaining answer is 2w minus 3. 2w minus 3 and 2w minus 3 here common in both terms. So 2w minus 3 into 9w plus 13. Thank you. Best of luck in next video with next lesson. Take care.